To do the texturing, we're going to open up the texture panel. We're going to tell Synthize that we want to create a texture, and we need to do that before we set up the file name so Synthize gets the right dialog up here. So uh, we're just going to select this panoramic image JPEG, and we're just going to make it a 100% JPEG. That'll just let us see it a little easier. And now we're ready to go with the first texture extraction. So let's let that go. And here we go with our initial texture. Now you notice this, this looks kind of bad. Uh, we haven't used any of this space here. What's gone wrong? You know, We did do the cutting away of the geometry, and that cutting away the geometry is what this is designed to avoid. The thing that we hadn't done yet, though, is actually to go into the texturing panel in Synthize and tell it we want to crop the texture coordinates so that the UV texture coordinates all match, you know, fill the entire range of the, you know, the entire zero to one range of everything. So now let's run the texture extraction again. We'll go back and look, and now we see that we're taking advantage of the entire space. And you know, now the issue is well, we're, we're we've got to crunch the image because we haven't used a, the right kind of width, and we're still uh, at a 1K by 1K resolution. So now let's go and refine what we're doing a little more carefully. So with this kind of uh, imagery we actually want to use quite a high horizontal resolution because we're sweeping horizontally. So I can actually type in a value here that's larger than you know, the maximum drop-down value. So we'll just do a uh, 8K by 2K image and now let that go. So this will take a little bit. We'll uh, cut out for a second and be back. So here we are back again. Took about two minutes to compute. Let's go take a look at the photo gallery here, Windows Photo Gallery. That's why we did the JPEG. And here is our entire image. If we wanted to put this on our wall, say, we might uh, use Photoshop to just crop out the middle portion of this. And we'd have a very nice high-resolution version of this. You can see we can zoom in basically to the uh, original source image resolution anywhere in this image. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, defocusing in this due to the residual tracking error. We were down around you know, 0.6 uh, pixels. If it used uh, a little supervised tracking to get that down even further, there would be a, even a little bit less than that. But um, the image here you know, eliminates the uh, compression artifacts because the, all the images are being uh, averaged and it also gives you very low uh, speckle noise you know, up in flat areas like this, again, because the images are being, being uh, averaged. So uh, the, the resulting images are, are really very high quality in that uh, respect and uh, can be used for printing, for uh, whatever sort of effects you'd like to do. So let's go for a second back and look at a few details in side of synthize. Um, one thing is right now we're not seeing the image itself because uh, the mesh is being selected um, and that you know if we were looking at it from a different angle it would be appear red. Uh, we can hide that effect by turning on this checkbox hide mesh selection and this setting only sticks around uh, while the texture panel is being displayed to uh, avoid confusing the issue. So uh, you can go and see what you've got here and uh, you, know, you can zoom, <laughs> zoom a long way in. Um, it's a little slow here because we've got, uh, we're still in this lasso meshes mode and all. But uh, you can go and, and 
either hide or show the cylinder. And when I have this cylinder being shown, you can see the underlying original imagery. And you can see the uh, compression artifacts that are left uh, from that and how the nice uh, texture extraction version doesn't have those really at all. Um, just so you understand also a little what uh, we've got. Let's just unlock from this and uh, we'll just start popping out. And here is our geometry with that texture sitting on it. So just so you understand exactly, this is what we've been doing and generating along the way. And this piece of geometry could be anything. Um, the texture extraction process works with whatever geometry you give it to work with. In this particular case, this uh, cylinder proved a, a good match. So that's what we used. And we got this very nice high quality panoramic background image. So that's what this is about. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care.